This your boy DJ Academic said. Now, uh, one of my listeners sent me a uh, interview with uh, Andre Three Thousand Three Stacks. They call him. Now, in the interview, he mentioned a lot of very interesting points, and I can't put the interview up here, but there's a link in the description. You got to check it out. Got to check it out. But one of the things he mentioned is that now he's 39 years old. He says he plans to kind of stop rapping at 40. He's going to turn 40 in like May. So that's only a couple of months. But the reason why he said he's going to do that is that he doesn't want to be the old nigga still trying to fit in and try to adjust to the new nigga shit. And he's like, yo, listen, hip hop, there's a part of hip hop that relies on the hipness. Hip is a root word of hip hop. And hip is being cool, being trendy. And he's like, listen, the music really is catering to these people who are like 16 to 30. He's like, how could you, if you are way outside that age range, right? And though that type of demographic, the 16 to 30, they're creating new slang. Right? I keep telling y'all, the high school age, they're the one that dominate fucking Vine. They're the one that create these new slangs, thought and all that. They're the one that set these trends that everybody else adopts to. So he said, rather than being that far removed from that, trying to readjust to a bunch of 16-year-olds and trying to still be cool, he's like, you should stop doing hip-hop. Or kind of, he said, in his opinion, it, it, he will just remove himself. Now, there's a lot of people who are still rapping past 40. Jay-Z still rap past 40. I think he's like 45. But Jay-Z does a little bit different. Jay-Z's not trying to adjust to the newest um, fucking um, slang. He's not over here talking about you know, these thotties ain't loyal. He kind of raps about his own personal life and his own maturation. And he's kind of got a flag for that. I mean, I sit up here and call him Grandpa Hove because he's not rapping about shit that I can't relate to because shit, he's like twice my age. So it's it's a difference, but it was very interesting when he was saying, and he was he also mentioned like newer groups, and you never hear this type of um, advice or honesty from older rappers, especially older rappers of his caliber. He's one of the best rappers ever, right? I mean, you would like to have more material, but yeah, he's one of the best rappers ever. He said, and he's giving advice to the younger artists, like he's giving advice to maybe like Amigos, maybe like a Young Thug, maybe like a Joey Badass, maybe like a J. Cole or anybody else, even Kendrick. He said this, he said, yo, don't worry about what we think. Don't worry about the, what the elders think. Do what you do because we're not hip anymore. The culture of hip hop is moved and shaped by your generation. It shouldn't be only upheld to the standard of what came before because what came before was upheld within the standard of its time and you can't keep continuing to uh compare now to the past i thought that was actually dope <clears throat> and pretty much what he said is like yo Migos, the reason why people love the shit you guys are saying you're talking about you're cooking like a fucking professor you niggas is knocking a pussy out like fight night People relate to that shit. That's your generation. That's how they fuck with music. That's what they're thinking. That's why it's permeating within the whole culture. Don't care about one of these old fucks talking about, oh, oh, back in my day. He said pretty much, if anybody ever says back in my day, oh, remember when it used to or anything about the past like that? You're fucking old. You're too old for this hip-hop shit. And in some sense, I respect the honesty. I respect that take. But then I look at it and I see the sadness in it. Because I, I look at it and I say, yo, he's kind of almost saying, yo, once you get like 40, man, you niggas can't relate to what's new. You, you can't relate to what's hot. Because the high schoolers are setting what's hot. The college kids are setting, setting what's hot. And they could be your fucking son. So you're not going to come off authentic if that's the person you're trying to mimic. And it just reminded me that, yo, for people like Beanie Siegel, because you guys heard me talk about Beanie Siegel. I'm like, yo, he's a rapper who everybody loves. Dip said everybody loves, but everybody doesn't consider those groups hip. They don't consider those groups trendy anymore. Nobody wants to be like fucking Cameron now. Back 10 years ago, everybody did. Nobody wants to wants to be uh, um, like fucking Beanie Siegel and nothing like that now. 10 years ago, they did. And the sad reality is that there isn't another medium where those artists could put out their music, and I know it's, we're in the internet age, but no one's supporting it, at least financially. Record labels, people that are doing uh, fucking advertisers, they're not investing a lot of money into older rappers because they realize hip-hop is for the younger generation. And it's sad that it, because of age, not even attrition, age will force these rappers out of here, which means, yo, you're a little bit too old for this unless you're going to be copying slangs because 
if you notice, and literally, if you notice a lot of older people within hip hop, you see them kind of start adopting social media phrases, social media slang, because listen, that's the only way they could kind of fit in. So whether it's them dressing crazy, whether it's them talking like they're fucking 16 year old on the block, they have to do that just to maintain some type of relevance. But Andre 3000 is like, listen, I'd rather excuse myself from this shit. After 40, I can't keep up with the hipness. I can't keep up with this shit. I want the current generation, I want them to do what they're doing. Don't worry about what we think. What we did back in the days, Judge Within the Vacuum, you guys do you. So I thought it was very dope. I want you guys to check it out. Once you do check it out, I want you guys to get in the comment box. What do you feel about that? Do you feel that at a certain point, niggas should just stop rapping? You a little bit too old for this playboy, right? At some point, you can't, you're not that cool anymore. I mean, a hit song is a hit song, but when you're setting trends, which hip-hop does a lot, when you're not a trendy person or you're too old for this shit, you're really just mimicking other people who set trends in. Then, according to Andre 3000, not authentic. He's not with it. So get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. I want to get a discussion going on on this, okay? I'm out.